Okay, guys, this was the challenge. Uh, feel the heat with void drifts and going nuclear on drifts to Korhal. And I probably forgot to mention this uh, the last video, the one with Kerrigan and Ratan, is that only three commanders were allowed. So we had the first one with Kerrigan and Artanis, and this one is, uh, we have Zero again, playing Raynor, this time solo. Uh, okay, so, uh, yeah, he, mm, it doesn't show, okay, uh, yeah, it doesn't show it yet, the enemy composition. Uh, okay, so he is going uh, immediately, okay, two workers, then, then the orbital. And he is, of course, Rebel Raider. <laughs> okay, good, uh, this uh, Arcturus uh, announcer that he has. Okay, uh, let's get uh, production. Uh, another command center is on the way. So yeah, early as the Rebel Raider, you want at least two of these so you can have more mules. And now he's going barracks and this should finish right in time for, okay, a little bit of a uh, uh, resuming from replay. I don't mind, if you, this is tough thing and... Uh, uh, like soloing this with the radar isn't easy. So he will be forced on defense until he has uh, uh, dusk wings, and that will be at four minute uh, mark. So you have, you see that we have uh, two rifts over here. So he created kind of mini wall, a semi wall over here. Uh, to be able to defend with this and it has two bunkers ready now already two marines in this one and SCVs for repair so even though he is a rebel raider by the way he chose uh, river disruptor which kind of surprised me I mean you don't want masters and machines of course you don't want to deal with storms but I thought that it dark templar would probably be the best probably he didn't want to deal with phoenixes so he chose uh, river disruptor Maybe because of his benches or something. Okay, so we now have a decent defense, decent wall over here. Two bunkers that are shooting, plus six marines inside that are shooting. And uh, we have two orbitals. So even though he is a rebel raider, you will need marine defense. You cannot just uh, be idle until you can get air units because you're gonna die. So he has to start barracks. <coughs> And, of course, Rebel Raider is good because you can start Orbital first, you don't need Barracks for Orbital. <coughs> okay, ooh, 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 one died, okay. I mean, it's not okay, but better than, uh, better one dead than three dead. Okay, now he'll be able to clear this. Okay, this, this two will have more job because there is, uh, uh, three rifts on this side. Okay, this bench is also coming here. Ooh, ooh, ooh one more dead, okay. Ooh, this, ooh, okay, um, at least this one will, I think, kill this. That's a lot of things coming, but still, like, these early spawns are not so bad, like, uh, late game spawns, like, they have immortal siege tanks, cyber, it's uh, a lot of stuff, so, uh, we harder, okay, they have this annoying marine pumping here, so needs to repair. Okay, there is still this thing, but now, it, now, Hyperion is available so let's see where he go okay Hyperion is called here which is okay because from this side it's kind of annoying to defend now going over here to kill this rift and now he'll be going over here just in time to prevent these guys from coming closer to base and closing this rift over here okay so Hyperion is uh what's Hyperion doing uh, Okay, now, of course, clear as many as many of these guys as possible, not to be idle with Hyperion in the meantime, building expansion and immediately bunkers here to be able to protect it. Okay, hybrid goes down and some of these air units, which is good. Marines clearing the rocks. These guys waiting here. Rainer cannot multi-build. Okay, that will be third CC. More marines building, and just now, you see that starport is going on because now it's kind of stabilized. Its uh, rifts are clear now; the more of them appear. But uh, uh, 
Okay. Just pumping these workers over here now. Oh, marine sh marine drop over here, but uh, it's kind of unfortunate timing. <coughs> Sorry, guys. It seemed that I don't know why this marine was dropped. There are no available things. Oh, now we have the first banshee. You can see, yeah, banshee is pretty good, pretty necessary because we cannot wait for battle cruisers. It need, needs more money and need also the fusion core. Okay, will this be researched? We'll see. Oh, uh, now we have Neo Steel frame for stronger bunkers. Uh, of course, that will be pretty much helpful. Brave SCV pilot. <laughs> okay, now I can see that bunker is. Uh, I mean, uh, they, ha they have more capacity, and now you have Interang building armor to even more st strengthen them. Uh, okay, so, uh, yeah, bunker slots increased by two. Okay, now you can see the building armor is one for most buildings, but now it will be, I think, plus two. Huh? Okay, now we have Hyperion over here again. Now is as more air units come, not counting of course dusk wings. Dusk wings are also cooldown decreased. Okay, for this is uh, a 15% based on supply used by. So you can see that now it's increased by 15%, and he using Hyperion mastery. Okay, Hyperion is clearing as many rifts as it can. Okay, this rift is two and thirty yet, but first you need to stabilize. Okay, doing the, as much damage as you can. Now these benches will go. Benches are good, of course, they can cloak now. This needs to be done. Okay, now, yeah, now it's plus two armor. That's especially good against trickles. Trickles are always marines. Uh, Marines, Zealots are Zerglings. Okay, we have Afterburners going on and infantry weapons for the Marines. Okay, we still have three rifts open. Okay, oh, now, now, Fusion Core is complete. Now we have Yamato on the way, so there will, of course, be Battlecruisers. It will be strange without Battlecruiser because they have a teleport and Yamato, which are pretty useful tools. Okay, now you can see that after 10 minutes, actually I think after 8 minutes already, that they uh, start send sending the second uh, tier units. Like first uh, from rifts, they can come like uh, until uh, I think until 10 minutes, it can come uh, 10 units. Like that can be a uh, zergling. I mean spawns. Trickles are always, uh, as I said, uh, zealot. A zealot, uh, two zerglings, or marine, but uh, every 12 seconds. But zealots is two supply, while marine or two zerglings are one supply. So it means that if zealot comes, that next uh, trickle will be after. Uh, oh, this bench is now causing troubles. Uh, this scout uh, is causing troubles to benches. So needs some. Uh, yeah, needs some <laughs> entire over here. That's uh, that's problematic. Okay. Uh, so it means if the zealot spawn, the next trickle will be after 24 uh, seconds, not 12. But spawns can be marine, uh, marine, marauder, uh, hellion, or uh, yeah, marine, marauder, marauder, hellion, zergling, baneling, heroic, hydra, zealot, adapter, stalker. Then in 10 minutes, it, it being added the banshee, immortal, siege tank. Ravager, Mutalisk, uh, Void Ray, and then finally after 60 minutes, four more units. Those are Spellcaster, that can be uh, High Templar, Infestor, uh, Raven, which is the only detection unit that can come with the rift, and Hybrid Destroyer too. Okay, so, that's the thing, those are 20 units that can come out of rifts. Okay. 
Uh, I can see this clever Banshee positioning to clear this, okay. Now, has to wait until this passes, not to get, not to attack the Banshees. So you can see these Immortal Siege tanks are a lot more nuisance than the units before were. Mortals do a lot of damage, Siege tanks have superior range. So now you have Battle Cruiser, they are mostly now being used for the defense, but also yeah, to kill the Rifts. Okay, we have four CCs, I believe now. No, five CCs, that's pretty nice. Okay, these bunkers are now emptied. <laughs> because they were actually destroyed by that attack wave. Okay, but the uh, defense is kind of still pretty decent. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now we're fighting here. Okay, so good thing is that this composition only, only uh, adapts and... Uh, the sentries can attack air and some sc scouts, there are scouts in some compositions, in some in some waves, not in all of them. This wave there were no scouts. So. Okay. Oh, now this is only one minute left, so... Oh, okay, these three banshees can do this, absolutely do this in one minute. I think they can, or they should. Okay, ah, do Hyperion help? No, Hyperion is uh, done. Okay, we have now plus two for air. Okay, this was kind of pretty good spawn. Okay, 28. Yeah, they will absolutely do it like five more seconds or so. And that's... Uh, there we go. Okay, there is one annoying muta and probably observer here providing vision. No detection. Okay, uh, there we go. So, benches now go here. And you can look at this. If you have nukes... Then if benches, okay, they are now, they are not idle now, and this is the muta, they don't have energy to cloak. But they should go here because nukes will not hit here, because center of the nuke always has to hit when, when there is patable terrain. Okay, yeah, cloaking them to uh, to just uh, let off of this muta. Now, uh, what was, uh, I think, his uh, biggest mistake in this game? It was, I mean, not a big mistake, but still, that he didn't build any, you see, that there is a lot of minerals didn't build any uh, missile turrets over here, like two or three missile turrets, one here for detection, maybe two more here to uh, to deal with all the, because rifts can will also spawn here. So to deal with all these uh, flying units like the benches and void resin mutas that come from this side, this is a stupid mosquito, it's just uh, annoying me, have to kill that thing. And did it. Uh, Racketeering the... <laughs> Literally, the mosquitoes over here. Okay, that's um, okay. Now we have decent supply of air units. Now we have uh, eight battle cruisers. That's uh, it's 48 supply, and we have some benches here. So let's see the cooldown. It's now cooldown cur rate currently increased by 72 percent. So that's uh, it's a lot more Hyperions and Duskwings, which is pretty good. You can see that how counter now is going fast. Okay. And these are civil. Their only job is to repair. You see that the uh, High Templars actually also, they have 7 range, so they outrange the Marines. It would be good if the if owner has like Mengsk plus 1 additional range for bunkers. Okay, now they're morphing Archon. <laughs> uh, okay. Now then, now 2-2 two, two is done, and for bio, okay, I can see on the workers, there's no marines out, didn't see, oh, uh, you can ship, ah, yeah, plus 3 weapons, I think armor not, but plus 3 for the, for the bio to, to defend, okay, we now have 72 still, but now it's kind of comfortable situation, rifts are all dealt with, and you can see that this is being dealt from this side, while battle cruisers will actually deal deal with this from this side. Okay, can kind of pull back from the enemies. Pull back from the enemies and uh, okay. I got that one. Go. Okay, oh, there is an archon. Okay, kill that. Benches. Uh, Duskwings clear this. One and we have ooh, 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 only to cloak. 
okay, I need to let this, yeah, this void ray go, but then she's having business with this rift. Oh, the Hyperion is here, dealing with the rift and also the attack wave. Okay, down it goes. Oh, there's some rivers. Uh, if, the, if those reach the base, it'll be a lot of damage. Yeah, uh, this disruptor was killed right before the, the, the Nova could explode. Okay, Banshee is again. No, a lot of rifts will spawn here because rifts tend to spawn away from enemy. enemy. Oh, 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 these guys. You can see, yeah, the, he had like two missile turrets over here. This void ray would not. Uh, even just one, I think it would be the repair would be good now. Losing SCVs, which is not ideal. Yeah, that was that was that was biggest problem at this point. Okay, some things coming from Rift, but BCs are now plus, well, almost plus three. Now it'll be in a few seconds. Okay, okay, needs to kill this, but now that's ooh, probably not seeing this nuke. Oh, uh, that was uh, unfortunate. Okay. Got nuke. Okay, now now normal benches have to go here. Oh, that's uh, oh no, nah, yeah, needs Hyperion needs to go here. Now this kind of little bit panic button going here. Yamato in this. Okay, now Hyperion. Yeah, there's a lot of things to do. So I don't mind him sometimes leaving Hyperion idle. I mean it's idle because it's fighting this, but this is not necessary. Okay, could have killed uh, this rift instead, but okay. Okay, there is some battle cruisers chilling over here. Sen probably won't get hit by center of the nuke even if nuke hits. Okay, now there is not a lot of time. There are just uh, just a little bit more than four minutes. So uh, now. Okay, let's see. Okay, now it's 105, 105 supply and air, air units. Okay, so I think it should should be all in at this point, like very soon. I think this rift should be cleared. Should they? We will see. But yeah, there is uh, not a lot of time left. Okay, Dusk Wings will clear this. Hyperion is ready. Okay, will he defend this wave? I think that that wave actually... Sh Maybe not. Okay, I think it's time for all in now. Okay, clearing some rifts. Oh yeah, we are going in. We are going in. Okay. That's... Oh, that's... Lada, that's 19 BCs. Oh, 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 nuke, nuke, nuke. And Hyperion to actually, together with them, to actually give them plus two attack, which is pretty good. You can see nine plus two. That's pretty big boost. Main base is now being destroyed, but it should, uh, like, one flying command center, which, uh, or one flying orbital that if, and if this gets destroyed, it should buy time, because actually there is nothing in the air. Okay, you can, uh, some mutas from rifts but now this force will actually clear this okay Yamato's here no, Yamato's are probably on cooldown no they are not but not even necessary just uh, focus it down and there we go and now even with like uh, 1 minute 52 left uh, it, the job is done when there is enough battle cruisers so that's it damage wise uh, see battle cruiser actually did the most damage uh, Hyperion is also pretty good. Hyperion Mastery really good. Here, Banshee, normal Banshee, more than Duskwings, Bunker, well, the Bunkers on uh, out of turrets and Marines 12.3% of the damage. Okay, Research, Research Cost, Hyperion Cooldown and Mech Attack Speed Mastery is okay, really good. Let's see the... Let's see the... Overlay. Okay, I'm gonna get out actually of the. Ah, no need, no need for me to get out. Okay, let's uh, parse the replay and uh, open 
Reynard Solo. Okay, so I thought he would actually have a lot of more APN, but uh, he did all the necessary steps to win. 48 mules, 54 rifts cleaned. There were some idle time of the Hyperions, that one and that I think one more that I didn't show. But uh, as you can see, lost only 6 BCs, 11 Marines, and uh, okay, 12 Banshees. But yeah, in late game, Battle Cruiser are important. Banshees are buying time early to mid game. So this was pretty good. Uh, I don't know, probably he'll leave the comment why he chose disruptive art artillery over the uh, Dark Templar composition. Probably he didn't want to deal with the DT scanning too much. Probably that's reason or the Phoenixes. But also disruptive artillery also has uh, uh, scouts, although the scouts cannot lift uh, uh, ground units, but they can attack them with uh, normally, so I don't know. We'll see about that, but okay. That's it. He didn't even lose a lot of supply. You can see here the main base was ravaged by the enemies. Didn't even get to the, the expansion. Okay, so yeah, that's it. Pretty good game. Guys, thanks for watching, like and subscribe if you liked it, and check out my uh, short video, my newest short video for my uh, newest challenge, and if you dare to do it, do it, and post, uh, in, uh, post the replay in my Discord, and I will be, I will cast this uh, next week, uh, uh, there will be videos on Wednesday and Thursday, so uh, thanks for watching this, and see you guys.